Thankfully, there's so much oxygen out here, just pop your drums is the only thing I have to worry about, which is really pissing them off. Uh, is that out of reach? No, everything here should be in reach. This damn thing. Empty storage. It's because there's a pool of uh, nasty water right here. Let me raise my, my little clip for my... Oh, it fell off. No wonder it's pulling on my ears. There we go. Go, go, go. How about we speed things up? Oh, I should probably set this up too. Uh, let's see. Oxygen, oxygen. Bam. Finish a cap. 45 degree weather. That's here at night. Well, it's a little bit colder than that at night, but... <clears throat> That's you during the day? That's rough. I can't believe how much oxygen is here. This is insane. Oh, these things hold how much each? Uh, properties. Mass. No, that's the mass. I wish it would just tell me right on here. Somewhere obvious. Let me see. As far as any gas resources pumped into it. No contents. Okay, I guess I'll look over here then. Gas reservoir hold 150 keys. Okay, cool. So that should be enough to hold uh, all the gases over here, actually. That's a Texas winter. Oh, there you go. That's Fahrenheit. <laughs> Stress level steady going up. I think it's just Lindsay. Lindsay should be going through this door. And you know what? Lindsay should not be going through here anyways. So I think that's probably why. She's probably going through here and getting upset at stuff. Where is Lindsay? She's supposed to be just a scientist. And like, I don't know. I think she's a farmer, too. Uh, oh, you know what? I don't have, uh, well, I have this. Killing Demon is he... Oh, popped eardrums. Is this door locked to anybody? No, okay. Let's go see what Lindsay's doing. Stress is going down. Demon... There we go. She's sleeping. <laughs> what's her problem? That's the cot. What's, what's Lindsay's problem? Thank you. Let's see, uh, okay, obviously this is fine. Uh, breath, da 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 body temperature, decor, uh, high morale, so it's net stress, and minus point, okay. Well, I guess we'll wait till tomorrow to see what she's really stressed out about. But it says, contact with germs, slime lung, meeting switch with food, poison, bed rest. No, just, no, that's gonna help me right now. I'll have to wait and see. So I was buying CBD gummy bears on Amazon, and I saw one that claimed they fit 3,333 milligrams into a single gummy bear. That's probably much less than 3,333 milligrams, right? <laughs> like, yeah, in our, in our 300 milligram. <laughs> Let's see, it's been nice here in South Dakota, 29 degrees Fahrenheit. Summertime for me, should be negative 20. Oh boy. Max gas pressure. I don't know if, you know, I don't know if we're gonna find a solution for this guy here. I think we have to find something else, somewhere else to put it. Where he has a little more breathing room. Maybe just like right down here, but god, it puts off heat when it just starts working, man. 116 degrees. <sighs> Shoot the hydrogen off into up here. We have to seal this off too. It snowed a little here. Rip text. I saw that. I saw a uh, uh, trending yesterday. It said it's snowing. Was that it? Lumber. We should put a little higher priority on that lumber. Oh, well, they, uh, Pip is dead, so... Oh, that's right, the Pip died before uh, it would eat it. Stupid Pip. We got someone's coming here in Savannah area. I'm in a rural, about 45 minutes west, unlike... It's 70s. Shorts weather in February. Hmm. It's shorts weather over here by the uh, streaming machine. <laughs> the streaming PC makes the shorts weather all year round. All right, so this thing's still sucking, sucking pretty good, but still not getting everything out of here. Oh, there's a hydrogen. There's ha ha ha. There's a pad of hydrogen fighting this oxygen to get down. No wonder. Um, that's gonna slow things up. But hey, we're getting hydrogen in this whole area, which is exactly what I wanted. But we're not gonna get out of here right now. How's this doing? Good. Let's check on it real quick. We are getting okay. Cool. We're getting gas in here. Seventy-eight degrees. That's nice, cool air. We'll let it go. We're gonna start seeing overloaded circuits here very soon. We have a couple of overload. Oh, that's oh nice. Thank you for that. 
and that door. Okay, cool. So nothing yet. <laughs> Except for these two doors we've never actually seen with dupe eyes. Uh, what is wrong with this? Phosphorite, sweep Aaron. Not done because low. So let's prioritize this up a little bit. Okay, how about uh, cleaning? Hmm? Duties? No? How we cancel the sweep command then? And we'll redo it. They're moving lumber up top. So it makes us priority eight for, oops, uh, K8. There we go. That'll get it moved. Room is at negative 31 degrees. Beautiful. Air coming out is 61 degrees. It's getting colder. And it's skipping the first point here and moving on. <clears throat> God, I hope this setup is good. It's good that there's enough pressure in this room to push all this uh, all this carbon dioxide down and actually cool it at the same time. So now this carbon, now this uh, uh, oxifern, which previously was too hot to operate, is now within um, uh, within range. What is it sitting at right now? 103.8 degrees out of 104. <laughs> Great, it works. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be the problem we got to solve here shortly. But they're doing fine right now, actually, without suits. So maybe we'll just let them. We'll just give it time to kind of equalize, do whatever it's gonna do. And then either one or two things is going to happen. Either we're going to have a so much hydrogen buildup in this bottom chamber that it will make no sense to leave the electrolyzer here anymore. Because the point, one of the reasons why we have it here is to in, in order to actually add hydrogen to this space. Um, uh, or two, there is no two. The, the only other option is basically just uh, just this room filled with hydrogen. And that's it. Thank goodness there are no sparks open flames in Oni yet. Well, if if we're talking about a room that is devoid of oxygen and nothing but hydrogen, then the oxygen would be the flammable, right? That would be the the, the, combust, the combustible element. Um, the hydrogen would not, because there's just too much hydrogen. Kind of like uh, my my dad did this when I was a kid. Freaked me out. Um, but he had a um, uh, uh, he was like changing the oil or something like that on the car. And then he took his cigarette, he put it out in the oil. Like it was a tub of oil. Like, and I was just kind of like, oh, God, we're going to die, right? Because I didn't know. Uh, and it made sense. It's like there's so much of it that just smothers, you know? That's why, like, uh, if you go to, you know, Titan or Venus or something like that and you light a cigarette, like nothing's going to happen, right? Because it's just, if there's no oxygen, then just nothing's going to happen. So yeah, it's whatever whatever the 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 larger quantity I guess of uh, of an element is that would normally be combustible somewhere else would not be as if it's the if it's the dominant element or something like that it has to be it has to be the right ratio yeah exactly now if there is a leak and maybe somebody's smoking in here in this room that has a tiny little bit right here and this door happens to be open, that might be a problem. Because now you have all this oxygen out here and all this hydrogen and then it just goes... <sighs> Call the stoichiometry. Yes, is exactly what I was going to say, guns. <laughs> but it also doesn't burn without something to hold the fire like a cloth. Uh, I would take my life on whatever rudimentary science I remember from high school, college. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, mo most of my like most of I, I feel like most most people are like this too like most of the like sciencey things that you learn growing up is like not from science class you know it's like from something you did where you're like oh that's physics <laughs> now I'm going to the hospital for a broken arm <laughs> or you know some oh that's what combustible uh, that's combustible when I add blank to it yeah did I miss anything interesting and are we are uh yeah things are working out pretty good right now is that salt water Oh, that's right, because there was salt water that made its way into the pipes there. Uh, <laughs> so dumb. This room is perfect. Just, just not too much. Yeah, not too much hydrogen. Just enough. It's insane how much we're pumping in here, though. HVAC looking good. Oh, yeah. The, <laughs> the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the... I can't remember how the song goes, but yes. Exactly. Hey, look, it's getting thinner over here. Not so, not such a deep blue, but oh my god, we've bare, we've we filled up half of the tanks already. Yikes! But what is it at right now? This is we're getting down. Oh man! Wow, we're really gonna have an issue soon. Like we're not getting rid, we're not gonna get rid of enough oxygen <laughs> to make this thing viable. 
and all this is oh this building's not working because it's uh flooded in in this tiny little bit of water we'll just go and take care of it manually now Tank, good. Uh, is this still cooling? It's still cooling air, which is great. 19 degrees, 20 degrees. Beautiful. Coming out of what? Uh, somehow gaining a whole bunch of temperature. What? <laughs> Hold on a second. It goes in at 22 degrees. It hits, oh, because the, uh, yeah, this thing is actually warm. So we're actually losing power there. I wonder if we should replace some of that pipe because the air that's coming out of there is cold. And we'll give this thing an opportunity to, to cool off again, because it's not going to cool off at this rate. So yeah, let's do that, actually. Seven, or was it seven and six? Seven, six. Silly. Um, uh, holy, uh, Mr. Wizard. Ha! So, uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I remember Mr. Wizard. I met Mr. Wizard when I was a kid. And I got a, I had a, I had a Mr. Wizard science book that was signed by him. And I have no idea where it's at. But I had it at one point in time. <laughs> It was kind of cool. I think we should probably kill this too. See, it's going at 118. It's coming out at 108. Maybe we should go ahead and cover that up too. And just let, let the ice biome over there deal with it. Just, just, all we're doing right now is just giving, giving the AETN more opportunity to just cool down. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, I think T-O-U-G-H-T is uh, when something is tight. It's taut. Max gas pressure. So these things now have, uh, I guess now have enough oxygen to be used, but we're not going to use them yet. We're going to create some buffer. But there's a compilation of Mr. Wizard being kind of addicted to kids, which is kind of funny because when I was a kid, I didn't really notice that. But now that I watch it, it's kind of like, wow, he really was kind of an asshole at times. <laughs> he totally was. Just say teach. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, it's a compilation. It's just, it's just kids just, just trying to teach a kid something and they fuck it up. And he's just kind of like, no, you're, you're a dumbass. I can't remember what he said, but it was just like something. You're just like, wow, man, it's not really nice. Um, okay, so we need another way to bring in some nice, delicious cold water. Whoa, whoa, where's all my water at? Oh my god, what now? Oh god, it's just because it's all because of this. All because of this. What do I do? We need water. We would have tons of water if I didn't have this little tiny pillow of... of, um... dirty water. I could get another pump, put it in there, and pump it out, and man, and just have it, just force it out, right? Just force it out that way. But I love the passive system. Like, this is great. No power. Um... But I, I don't have enough water coming in because of what this is. This not. Oh, this is a branch over though. This is 90 degree water. That's not too bad. What is this water temperature? 129. You know what? Maybe we should just hook these bitches up. Just hook them up and let them work themselves out. I put that here. Then it'll split. Part of it will go over here to the, to cool off again, which is fine. That's a cycle that could keep going. If I and then if it hooks up there. It'll spread over here. It'll actually come back over here too, as long as these other parts are all. I might back up the sieve. If I back up the sieve and it backs up far enough, then I'll, the natural gas generator is going to take a shit. But I could probably take that risk for now. Hmm. Let's try it. Let's just hook this guy up to this. Can they reach that? I think so. <clears throat> And then we'll get a nice steady stream of, uh, of liquid coming in. Anybody could do that. Come on, guys. Anybody. It is just, 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 ski, ski, some pipes. Let's go. Oh, we have to go down and get the materials, which is all the way down at the bottom. Yeah. I haven't seen Snowpiercer, but I've heard, I saw, I, there was like a video or something like that that I've not watched because... If it is a kind of a spiritual sequel to Willy Wonka, then I absolutely want to watch it because I, 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 I do love Willy Wonka. The last 90 minutes of it, the first hour or whatever is going in the trash, but <laughs> it's got some really good points. It's a super good movie. Shit. All right. I'll watch it as soon as I'm done watching. Um, what is that? What is that movie with Terry Crews that I haven't watched? Han, what was it again? 
It fits so well. Idiocracy, yeah. I'll add it, I'll add it, it's right behind Idiocracy. There you go. Okay, let's do this. Oh, come on, Wibby. You didn't know? No, I have not seen it. <laughs> White chick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> White chicks is 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 definitely a favorite of mine. Uh, 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 it is absolutely a favorite of mine. I could I could watch it right now and just be totally satisfied. It's just such a good movie. Oh my god, White chicks is a movie that like people. Oh shit. Okay, I was kind of afraid I might do that, but I was hoping that it wouldn't. Okay, so that's not working. Um, if I damn. But yeah, White Chicks is such a great, such a great movie. <laughs> let's bring it, let's bring it down. We'll connect it some other way. But we have tons of water here that needs to go over there. What do we have in here? This thing is not very loud. Arbor Acorn. I wonder if, is there a setting for that actually? Is there a setting specifically for how loud that thing is? Music ambiance, see, put mute on focus, loud automation sound, play background music each morning. I do like the background music each morning, it's kind of nice. Uh, okay, no. Is there a volume slider on the actual device itself? <laughs> Just put a bridge, it'll force one way. Well, it'll force it, um... Will it force it? Hold on a second, let me, let me see here. Oh my god, the pause! Oh, okay. Just put it right here. Actually, just put a bridge right here. Will that will that be enough to push it down the line? I wonder. Let me see. I mean, it's it's it'll be enough to push it down here, but we'll go down this line. This is this is the line I'm worried about. No, but, but it is getting backed up. <laughs> um, clean water there. It's all clean water. We, if we could just attach to everything, like it's, it'll, it'll just work. Um, too bad I, I got this whole thing, this whole area here sealed off like this. Otherwise I could have the dupe stump come down here and work and, and run I wonder if I should just kill this. Maybe maybe this wasn't a good idea to put double layer insulated tile. After the test I did last night, I definitely don't feel like I need double layer insulated tile. At least not not in a situation where I'm going to be cooling and doing all that stuff. <clears throat> change the flow. I could change the flow to turn that off, but that that flow is supposed to contribute to this water that's going all the way out here and, and also feeding this electrolyzer. So by turning that off, I'm going to be eliminating an extra an extra source of uh, fuel for the electrolyzer here. Um I think I think I should probably I'm not gonna kill all that insulation. No, that's dumb. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna Let me kill this. Kill this. Kill this. Okay, kill this. There we go. Okay, good. And then kill this too. And then mop all your mess up. Good. I was gonna break it down here and just attach it like to the main line somewhere. Don't know exactly where, we'll figure that out, but it looks like I'd probably jump right here. Maybe another jump, maybe another jump, and then put feed it in right here, and that'll do it. Yeah, that'll do it. So slow it down. Pipe dream from the early 90s. I remember that. That was like the was that the one you flip the tiles kind of pipe dream game, right? Is that is that the one? Flipping tiles. And then we'll just attach it. Probably just attach it direct because we'll have a liquid pipe here. So we'll go kaboom, kaboom, and kaboom. No, uh, 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 kaboom. There we go. And then we're gonna prioritize this. We'll do this one right now. This will get it. This will help basically augment this system. Uh, pretty much where the failure point is, which is this. This is the failure point here. So by injecting this extra water supply into here, we're, we're giving this drain enough time to just filter through its bullshit. That is a loop. 
It's gonna go, so this water's gonna go down here, it's gonna go across, jump, 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 get fed into this line. This line's gonna feed over here to the electrolyzer that's over here, it's pumping cold water, cold air into this bitch. Uh, and it's also gonna filter over here to this valve, this, this valve is running everything out into this electrolyzer here, as well as all the way out into the, um, the biome over here to cool off. And then it's gonna come back and get stored. And so yes, that is a loop from, basically, from this storage facility here, into this line, over to here, all the way back into the cold biome where it gets cold again and then comes back into the reservoir. So yes, it will. It It is a loop. It's a gigantic loop. Um, but the, the purpose of this is primarily just to keep things... Oh, who made a mess? Woovy did. Woovy. Well, what are they doing down here? Wait, 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 hold on a sec. What's going on? Hug shot. Oh my god, is that where you guys are getting granite from? Oh man, they're holding the breath all the way down there. Woofy, why'd you piss yourself? Oh, because I made an emergency. Oh, <laughs> I mean, you could have just asked. I could have let you go. <laughs> all I had to do was ask, man. That last piece goes in. And here it goes. So yes, look at that. It's beautiful. And the water is actually 90 degrees, so it's not even that hot. And so that's going to go and spread through everything. And then we'll see this thing come to life. Oh, nice. The water that gets cycled back over here is going to get nice and, uh... Nice and chill. It merges with a couple things here. Oh, yeah, look at those in here. Oh, there's actually a loop right here, too. Uh, this loop I set up initially so that it could, uh, cool the water, like, constantly. Has that been working, actually? It's been there for a long time. 121 degrees. <laughs> Uh, oh, this water's cooler, 92 degrees, 34 degrees, okay, so it's like all over the place, I think, 90 degrees, okay, it was Celsius I was looking at the first time, uh, 96 degrees, okay, well, it's alright, but I think I will go ahead and just give it a little snip right here, from here to here, there we go, that way, that, that way, this is now the loop, can I highlight that, can you see it, no, you can't really see it, unfortunately, I wish, it was a, I wish when you highlighted it, it was a completely different color, so you could really see clearly what the, uh, where the points are, what does this deal here, oh, there's some, uh, oh, whoops, let me see, priority, five, something else, five, actually, this should be higher, like a nine, this should also be higher, too, everything should be a nine, does that snip tool destroy mats? No, it just it just uh, snips the connection in between the tiles, so you still have that point. So if you snip everything around it, then it will have like a single circle, right? So it's like one little pipe fitting or something, and you'll get your resources back that way. It is. Yeah, the snip tool is really good. I wonder if there aren't any mods. Actually, I'm sure there are. Okay, how's this guy doing over here? Negative 40 degrees. Well, it's getting colder. But I also had plenty of time to just sit there and just think about its mistakes. Well, I didn't have electrolytes running, so. 77 degrees, going in at 157 degrees. Literally half. Ish. But look at this. This is, what is this, 79, 60 degree air. Look at that. So we have tons and tons and tons of... Delicious, cool air that's not able to get in because of the pressure. <laughs> so let's turn off this max gas pressure. We'll turn that off because now we have plenty of oxygen coming in. Um, we should start to see once the once the pressure kind of equalizes a little bit more uh, across the base. We should start to see what is this damage overloading conductive wire. Well, they could just fix that later. Um, we should start to see more uh, the temperature drop down there. So now the question is, do I start sealing off certain areas of the base? Like, for example, cut this, put a door here. That way, this whole area just kind of stays as is. Um, and we just cool this area. Or maybe take some of the oxygen out of this area that's hot and then throw it in there. I'm not sure. <laughs> like, do we need to accelerate this process or is this fine? Plastic vents in the bedroom. <sighs> Uh, I don't want the power circuit. Yeah, the power circuits do it. Yeah, they, they, that's uh, a system that works. Yeah, if you click on it, if you highlight it, if you click on it, we'll keep blinking. No, so you highlight it, you could kind of see there's a blink everywhere. It shows you where that um, where that line is going. We we are definitely gonna have to redo this entire undercarriage here because this like it just needs work. 
This is gonna have to... Well, pipe blocked, really. What pipe is blocked? Oh, cool. That's fine, actually. Good. So the suits are good, which means... Which means... We can go ahead and enable this building. And no more running around without suits. And getting your stress up. Oh, my eardrums are popped. Oh, my God. <sighs> so we filled... One, two, three, four, eight... Uh, reservoirs. <laughs> and we still have... Um... An abundance of oxygen in this area. Try to eject this shit into space. I feel bad letting that much oxygen go to space. Oh, look at all this chlorine. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I cannot wait to get in there and snatch up some of this chlorine. Oh, look how blue and beautiful this is. It's getting pretty dense up here, actually. We're probably going to eject some of that. This is nice. So, nothing here is overheating, thankfully, but it is getting hotter. I mean, this is 119 degrees, so this is an inevitable, and this is an inevitability uh, that this area is going to start to uh, um, crack, basically. So, I wonder if I should make another one of these, set up, make a completely new uh, circuit off of this, using natural gas, by the way, because natural gas is something that we have an absolute abundance of. Um, so, if we take and build another one of those little rooms and have it maybe instead of cooling um, hydrogen or uh, uh, oxygen, we run hydrogen through the lines and just let it basically cycle hydrogen out of this room into this thing, uh, cool it, get it out into here and then continue to, to, to do that. This is such a good setup, man. <laughs> After I start moving. Do any more Weez wards? I don't. We should we should find more Weez wards actually. That's what we should really do. What's the oxygen? Hmm. His <laughs> That that's what we do. We put a pilot light right outside of uh out of one of these holes. Just a pilot light and then just start shooting hydrogen out there. Just a little just a little psh, steady steady amount of hydrogen. I can't believe you fill this thing up. With oxygen. What the fuck am I gonna do without oxygen? <laughs> I have so much and it's getting it's getting worse. It's gonna continue to build up. Um Okay, so do we build another one of these? And then and also we should also we should also think about what happens when we get too much hydrogen in this room. <laughs> Let's see. Well we're starting to get it's pretty clear down here. We could probably go ahead and start... What was that? Oh, Gold Amalgam. Okay. Uh, probably go ahead and block this off. Let me see. We'll just do... Mesh tile. Airflow no, regular tile. And we'll put a little door right here. Just a simple little door. Half mechanized airlock. Make it nice and fast. We're gonna blow out this whole circuit. That way we could keep this area sealed. And this will eventually become a vacuum down here, which is not ideal. So we'll go and turn this off. This thing's not in water, but we'll turn it off anyways. We don't need it running. All the guys come down here and mop this shit up later if they need to. So yeah, build those things. I'll keep this area sealed-ish. What if, actually, instead of putting it here, I only put it here because of the stuff is missing. How about we put it up here and just finish this off? So we deconstruct this. And what is that? Just a bottle empty. How about we, instead of, no, no, what is it? Bot what is it emptying? Uh, just Pluto water. Oh, okay. So we'll just kill it then. And then we'll put a bottle emptier down here. And then we'll kill this, deconstruct, put a ladder here in its place. Insulated tile there. Maybe another insulated tile, I guess. Just go ahead and keep consistency. And then a small half mechanized airlock. Air mechanized airlock really necessary? No, not really. We'll just do a half manual. I don't want to blow the lines. <laughs> it's already it's already having such a bad time. Build four more, because why not? Let's just let's just keep on I don't know. Let's just have a whole bunch of these little things set up all over the place. Okay, let's speed this up. Good. Okay, so that'll keep this area clear. Probably go ahead and actually wipe this. Yeah. Just get rid of this and open this space up a little bit more. <clears throat> 
And then I'm guessing we probably- Oh, what is this for? Uh, damage because of what? Not because of heat. 120 degrees, no. Probably gas? That'd be weird. Oh, there might still be some carbon dioxide stuck in the line somewhere. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. Time for more dupes. <laughs> Eventually. Although I wonder if I should... No, this is fine. A bit of light, some dirt right here. Probably... The, we'll probably get this dirt out and replace it with, uh... Uh, some... Insulated tiles later. Had to help Kay with her debate homework. She's in, on, on the... She's on the side of child vaccination should be law. Smart kid. Let's see... Can I build... I can, you can't build on top of these tiles, right? You can't. You can't build tiles on top of these tiles. I'm thinking of just taking this whole area right here and just copying it. Just copying this whole thing and just moving it down here and having a second setup. And then we can split the circuits all, like, all kinds of crazy different ways. Do we have the resources for that? Aluminum ore. Yes, we definitely have aluminum ore. The rest, uh, I'm not quite sure, but we'll figure that out as we go. But it's very simple, like, this whole thing is pretty... A simple setup. We'll just take this, and maybe... is that going to... Yeah, we'll take that. Oh, it didn't like that, did it? Oh, did it pause? Oh, it paused, okay. <laughs> Ah, it doesn't look like we can put it here. Oh, it, there's really a pop-up, actually. Uh-oh. Oh, error occurred. Please restart game. Uh-oh. Okay, well, hold on a second. Let's, um... Let's force a save. Uh, fast save... Yes, because I have the other one, so... Yeah, it includes all the pipes in the background. It, it, it'll pop up. Um, you'll see it when you actually go to paste it. Alright. So let's go ahead and restart the game. Do this. Weird. Weird. I hate, I hate breaking my breaking my flow, man. Oh, there's updates that's running. Okay. Do do do. I uh, so let's see. So yeah, we'll copy paste that entire setup. It'll give us three more natural gas generators, which might be enough to actually tax actually tax those two. Um, oh, version update blueprints. Ah, so there was a problem with the blueprints, uh, which is exactly what we used, and that's what ended up breaking. So there we go. Resume game. How funny. Well, good good on the uh, on the app developer or the mod developers for getting on that so quickly. So that was what the update was. The update was replacing. Oh my god, it's already 345, man. Come on. <laughs> Damn it. I have so many things I want to do. I hate that. Okay. So back to where we were. Everyone's got suits. We're good. Let's see. Let's go and grab the oh, the the it's gone. Where are my blueprints? Don't you play by the seat of your pants? <laughs> yeah. I freestyle flow. Alright? That's what I do. Update was to remove it. Yeah, I think it probably just is it. Usually get a notification that says, this is different from the last time you saved. Oh, what the hell is this? Where are all my mods, dude? Okay, let's turn it back on. This is ridiculous. Pliers is the name of that app, by the way, for the snips. Uh-huh, look a bottle or half door, wounded med, go to bed. Gas overlay, bigger build menu. A oh, bigger build menu, turn that off, you need that. Yeesh. Wounded med, go to bed, yes. Good. Good? Good. Uh, do you have to re-enable mods when you update? Uh, apparently. <laughs> I guess so. Uh-oh. Oh, did it erase my, um... My... 
full screen. Sure did. Look at that. It puts a border around it now. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I love that. Let me... Fuck. Oh my god. It's gonna do this bullshit again. It's not gonna give me the whole, the whole screen. Why did it do this? Apply. <laughs> and then... Let's we'll go full screen. Fuck it. I had it on full screen windowed, basically. Oops. So that way I could click away and it won't minimize everything, but apparently every restart, you know, I have to redo that little uh, launch parameter. Um, I know when you update mods in RimWorld, you have to go back through and enable them all manually. It's so infuriating. Yeah, I, I, I feel like every other update I have to go through and re-enable all the mods, but this should be good now. We have everything on now, so we should be good. And then what we're going to do, we're going to copy that, that whole uh, natural gas generator area, and then that's going to create a number of new circuits for us. So good it's also going to create a whole bunch of heat as well so here we go this is what it should look like great let it go calculate all your stuff fantastic new blueprint let's try this again ta-da uh natty gas gens then let me see oh i can't put it here because of the background tiles lovely lovely Wonder if, uh, let's see, new blueprints. Let me just do. Oh, I can't do. Oh, I can't ex exclude something. Let me see. How big is it? Mm. So it goes up to there. You can't layer them on top of each other. So we probably go through and, uh, and just remove a whole bunch of walls, basically. So let's see. Everything. All of this stuff. Get rid of it. We'll rebuild whatever we need to rebuild. It's gonna take it forever to get through this, by the way. Let's do like an eight. So we'll come back to that. We're not starving for it right now, so we'll be fine. Choose a blueprint. I will. Salt water. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm so over salt water right now. Okay, so we've got this area sealed off down here below. Um, this is not on. Good. Nothing in here is gonna blow up from heat issues, from being a feedback loop of heat. Uh, we should probably make this nothing. We'll, we'll change that as needed. Uh, this is running somehow. I don't know how it's not... It's max gas pressure. Okay, there we go. I was like, how is it not, like... Uh, it's gonna be starving for... Some of these suits are gonna start starving for oxygen soon, I think. But we'll just keep an eye on that. You sound salt... I'm very salty about the salt water. And since you're caught up, you know why. <laughs> Everything. Oh, they never came through and got this, but it's fine because it's low enough that, um that the pipe electrolyzer does work. So great. Which means, and because we, 80 degrees, God, this thing is just not getting cold. Is that carbon dioxide? No, it's not, okay. Crazy that this AATN is just getting taxed. Like we're taxing it so hard. What are we pumping in here? 50 degree hydrogen. Coming in at 72 degrees. So I mean, our, our setup is it's it's working. It's just like it's gonna take a long ass time to uh, to cool this area. But this is all free. Like I said before, this is all free. It's basically running on itself. Um, it's using the hydrogen that's in here, but we have lots of other hydrogen that we're generating elsewhere on the base. So we could always just like take this and just you know dump it in there. Uh, is that just a complicated build? You can re redo it manually. Yeah, but that's a pain in the butt. I'd rather just let the dupes do work. And then just go and just grab it. Uh, what I do need to do eventually is get a set up a system of uh, conveyors to grab stuff and put it. What is this? Kind of, this is ridiculous. Um, in order to grab some of this stuff and put it in bins so they're accessible. But I don't know what materials that is. I'll have to make like a list or something. Um, so I'll figure that out later. Oh, how funny. They can't reach this. <laughs> Destruction era. Is it unreachable for reals? It doesn't say it's, it's unreachable. Let me see, one, two, three, four. Oh, wait, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, they can't reach it. What is this on the floor? Dirt. Can I make can I make a ladder out of dirt? I'll do it. Can I make a tile out of dirt? <laughs> really? Wait, comp I can't make a tile out of compacted dirt? Fossil. It's, it's round, right? Yeah, huh. I'm a little surprised, actually. Oh, I guess if you can make a tile out of dirt, it's the same as making, uh, oh yeah. Alright, I was making a bunch of ladders. 
We'll have- we're gonna get through this, damn it. Did you check the priorities come out? Yeah, and I did at the beginning. Uh, the bottom ones were wrong. They were wrong. It was misleading because the dupes were, um, were, were hand-loading in all of the, uh, uh, all of the all of the material into these bottom bins, and so I thought that that oh, was working fine. It's working fine because look, there's the stuff here. But no, the reality was that it was the dupes doing it and not the machines. How's this room doing? Mm -mm -mm. Except for this one. <laughs> this is so stupid. Uh, even after a restart, so we know it's it's a bug, but it's stuck. It's, we can't get in there and change it right now, or ever. That's insane. Too much. So much. Dun, 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 dun. So the base is actually getting uh, not colder, but it is um, pretty well supplied with oxygen. I wonder if we should put more vents, uh, vents, more vents throughout the base to give it more areas to expand to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, wow. How, how many more places do we need to put it? Like, seriously. How's this room over here doing? Yeah, this room's fine. <sighs> we just have so much oxygen. Like, we just we just have so much oxygen. <laughs> I just don't know what to do with all this damn oxygen. We have so much. We are very fortunate to have this much damn oxygen. What is this over here? Just carbon dioxide? This whole room is filled with carbon dioxide? Oh, are these overpressure now? Dormant? Uh, dormant. Okay, cool. So, oh, yeah, it's a really low amount of carbon dioxide. Oh, actually, this, this got low enough. <gasps> okay, this got low enough. We can actually pop this open and go in here and do some work real quick. And I'm going to do that right now. Let's go and go plumbing. Um, bottle thingy. Kill this. Deconstruct. And then let it think. Too much oxygen included. Exactly. It's exactly the problem that I'm having right now. Too much damn oxygen. Okay, so now I'm going to go through and uh, plumbing. Pitcher bottle pump, whatever. That's gonna go here. And the key, what is this? Cemetery rock, it's fine. No. And then what I'll do is I'll set this to polluted water, and then they'll come through, they'll pump this, and they'll dump all the polluted water here, and the salt water, actually. So good. And so enable, uh, enable, let me see, bottle emptier, enable auto bottle. Make it a nine. So now they should start running in here, grabbing this, and this. Even though it's not like visibly not touching anything, I, I still believe it should pull this nasty water out, and that'll solve this issue as long as we get all this nasty water out. Oh, they're pulling from other places right now. That's I think. Is that thing still on? Oh, it is. Uh, disable building. I thought I disabled that. Okay, so it is. They're grabbing water from somewhere. I don't know where. Hopefully it's from here. Oh, look at that. It says water. Of, oh, so it doesn't. Oh, shit. Okay. Status. Yeah, I just noticed the status is water. Um, yeah, I was under the impression that it would work. Even if it didn't say. Hmm. Well, let's deconstruct that. We'll set it lower then. Just hope that that's enough. I just want to suck up all of this water real quick if we can. Uh, da, 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 da. Pitcher pump. I guess I'll put it down here. Will it work underwater? Can they like... Let me see. How far does it reach? Pretty far. They could build it from there. They won't be able to reach it. There we go. I don't know if this- I don't know if the pump will work underwater. Technically you could, right? You could fill a bottle underwater. <laughs> so, so easy. So this is now under C. Polluted water, there we go. Oh, it does work! <laughs> I get- you know what? If you- if- if the bottle has, uh, uh, if it's a screw top, then yes, you could screw it into the- the faucet and then pump it in. Yeah, so yes, technically this works. We're not just pumping water into water and catching it with a cup. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no, this is working. This is totally working. Great. Polluted water. Get it, get it, get it. We'll dump it down here. We'll deal with it later. This is not a now thing. Uh, meanwhile, though. 
Wait, did it, is it still saved? It is. Ooh, this is gonna be so sexy. 